What's up, YouTube, and welcome all you boys and girls. Uh, I'm Jonathan. Welcome to Donald's Trumpets. You might say Donald's Trumpets. Ah. So Im immediately I'm going to repel or attract a bunch of people, but nah, it's a lot less sinister than that. My dad, Donald, when he passed, God rest his soul, left me a lot of really cool vintage horns. So... Donald's Trumpets. Welcome to my channel. I just uh, started about a week ago. Um, we're in 2021. Uh, what month are we? September. And uh, so here's the, here's the call right here that I made. I said, you know what? I want to have a piece of history or a way to honor my dad and remember him. So I decided to uh, catalog each one of these trumpets uh, either before they are sold or before they are listed or after they're sold and getting ready to ship away. So um, that's the deal, and uh, I would really encourage you to like this video, subscribe, uh, not just self-serving. There's going to be a lot of really good content on this channel. If you like vintage horns, you've come to the right place, and that is no joke. I mean, there is going to be some really neat stuff. Feel free to DM me or add any comments in the, uh, in the comment section because they're, they're welcome. I've, I mean... I might have done stuff as a kid that I don't remember with trumpets, but basically my whole entire life, um, I never played the trumpet or touched the trumpet other than taking it to a pawn shop. Sorry, Dad. Um, but yeah, so I never played the trumpet, and then all of a sudden here I am as a trumpet player. So uh, about four and a half months into the journey, um, and I'm loving it. And you know, it made sense. I said, hey, I got all these instruments. Uh, what do I do? Um, guitar player by trade, but I just said, hey, I'm gonna start playing this and wow what a really cool thing the trumpet is it's almost uh, it's way different than the guitar because you're breathing you're using your life force to connect to the to the notes and I've enjoyed it so enough of me uh, enough about me what do you think about me just kidding so today for showcase is an old ambassador right and wow look at that I mean this is a this is a horn from I think 1950 1951 uh, so it's a pretty old horn, and actually, I think I might be wrong, but it's an it's a Los Angeles version. This is an eighty thousand serial number range, so it's you know it was manufactured in Los Angeles. If you know anything about old old ambassadors, uh, people like the Los Angeles version a lot better. Ooh, pop goes the weasel right there. So this is what we have. This one's actually sold. Um, it just uh, just sold today on Reverb, and uh, let's what do we know about this? Uh, one thing I do know is I like the old ambassador. Believe it or not, um, this guy right here is the first trumpet that I picked up to learn how to play. What is it? Well, it's an old ambassador. Give me one second here. So, and you can see that there's some, there's definitely some differences um, in the two. Obviously, the one right here is not very shiny at all. Um, the lighting really doesn't do it justice. Whoop. And, uh, but you know, is what it is. So this is, this is my playing horn. This is one that I decided to, to use. And the reason that I grabbed it is because it was ugly. And I said, Hey, I got little kids. I don't have to worry about them knocking this over and breaking it. I'm not going to cry too much. So it, you can see this Brown right here on this uh, main tuning slide. The whole thing was, uh, that color. So, uh, this is a 45,000 serial number range. Um, I wound up doing a light brush finish on the entire instrument. Uh, you can't really see it. Um, I didn't really do it over the logo. I tried to keep that alone, but, uh, or leave it alone. But yeah, I like it. It's really cool. But enough about my trumpet. Let's talk about the lucky owner's new trumpet. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, 80,000 serial number. These things are definitely built like a tank. Uh, unlike a lot of other trumpets, these have bracings right here around the valve block, which you just don't see too often. Um, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. But I do like the old Ambassador. It's an amazing trumpet. And this one is actually, to, feels pretty incredible. Uh, I would say on the brighter, brighter side, this thing, uh, you know, the old uh, uh, whatever saying, I can, it can peel the paint off the walls. So this is the one. Um, okay, so we'll just jump into it. Um, this is, uh, I think it's called the Bugle Boy from Company B. Um, I don't have the music for it. I've just kind of been tinkering around playing by ear. Good compression on this. Uh, so yeah, just learned it by ear, but uh, I'll, I'll give us a, a little taste of this one and we'll go through the other one too.
So there you go. Um, not a lot of high register there, and I'm not that good at it yet, but... Uh, train wreck at the end but so now let's give this one a shot the 45,000 range just for comparison right So this one does slot a little bit different when I'm doing that first part. It's a little sloppier on the slotting, uh, which is actually to be desired from jazz players. So, but okay, so that's that. Um, so what would you compare this to then? So let's go back to our main focus, this old ambassador. special which I did a video on earlier this morning so let's check it out slots a little harder too on that one on the lower notes so they all have their uh, their edge or their disadvantage I guess in some scenarios um, this is 407,000 by the way I think this is early 60s in Fullerton so, uh, yeah, that's your comparison of, uh, you know, two old ambassadors from Los Angeles. Got the old special, and holy crap. Got this old uh, ambassador as well, cornet version. It's got the little pinky ring. It's one of the earlier models, but this one's actually Fullerton. Another really ugly trumpet that I picked out of the trash heap and decided to kind of make it spiffed up a little bit. So this whole trumpet was this color, but a lot darker. And I took this one and did a heavier... Uh, brush finish except for the bell. I like that black lacquer look and then kept some of the dark tarnish throughout gives it kind of a sh uh, shaded shadowy look <laughs> I promise it'll get better as time goes on. But, uh, so which one do I like the most? Hmm. I don't really know, honestly. They all have their, uh, their sweet spot. I probably would gravitate towards this one only because I got so much emotional capital invested in it. But, uh, oh, golly, now I'm stumped. You know, and that's the thing too, these videos are done off the cuff. I'm not rehearsing, I'm not going through whatever I'm gonna talk about um, ahead of time. So y'all get my thought process live in action, love it or hate it is what it is. But um, have I asked you today, have you called your mother if she's still there? You should. But um, in case you already have, make sure to subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to, it's gonna be huge. Not Donald Trump huge, Donald Trump it's huge. So do it up and that's it. Cheese. <laughs>